I'm going to show you how to properly navigate the Epson print driver when utilizing the advanced black and white mode to create a black and white print. The first thing you'll need to do is to create a black and white version of your image. I used a third party plugin. There are a lot of different ways to do that. Then we're going to go up here to image, image size, and we're going to confirm that we have plenty of information here in terms of inches for a 1722, which we do. We'll say OK. Then go up to File, down to Print. Now, one of the first things I'm going to do with Print is I'm going to change the Photoshop Manages Color down to Printer Manages Color. And I'm going to confirm that this is a 16-bit data because, as you can see up here, we do have 16 bits. And I'm going to ignore the relative rendering intent here because rendering intent has no purpose when we're doing a black and white print. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Printer Settings, and we're going to move on down to Color Matching, and we're going to turn off Color Sync, which is the normal way to do an ICC profile print, and we're going to use the Epson Color Controls. Now, the Epson uses a proprietary black and white conversion, so we don't need to deal with Color Sync. Now I'm going to go up to Color Matching, down to Printer Settings. And Manual Feed is what we want. Legacy Barita is what we want. 1722 Sheet Size with Maximum Borders is what we want. And notice that down here under Print Mode, we have an additional setting, and that is the Advanced Black and White Photo. We'll select that. I would suggest leaving the color toning in Neutral. And then we're going to go into Output Resolution if 1440 is appropriate. The only thing I'd change down here is I would probably, for this particular image, which is kind of devoid of any really fine detail, I would turn off Super Microweave. It really wouldn't give us any advantage here, and it would slow the process down. Now I'm going to go back on up to Advanced Color Settings and click on that. And you'll notice that we now have a whole series of controls for the black and white. So here, this may vary according to whatever printer and driver you have, but basically you want it to be in dark. The actual setting is somewhere between dark and normal, but it's closer to dark than it is normal. I would leave all of these settings alone. They just create a whole other set of variables that you would have to remember in six months when you wanted to reprint this image. And I would suggest you go in and create a horizontal of three and a vertical of three. Now, this isn't going to really result in what you would consider to be a toned image, but what it will do is it will take it from being a cold black and white to a warmer black and white. Just takes you right off that edge of, of coolness. All right, so now we're going to hit save. And we can go right from there to print.